We have to. Yeah, they're gonna have to run that water around that. They gotta run that water around that um around that house. And I, I knew that they kind of had it all swell down over there. But that that's a basement lot. I would to put that thing on a basement. But you might have somebody who wanted to be on a slab. Now I think uh I think it may be official over here. You know, I had some uh, I had some thoughts over here. I think it may be official, man. Uh, maybe the builder. Um, I don't see a sign out there, man. So there may have been some issues. And the builder walked away. Um, Which one? This house right here. Bourbon? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, but I, I think it... Um, yeah, that, because I hadn't seen anybody over there working for a minute. It's kind of telltale sign. Kind of get you a little scared here. All right, man, you guys, um, you can, uh, let me just kind of tell you where, where we're at right now. So this ought to be the downhill slide right here, man. So here's what needs to happen right now. We got to get drives and walks in. You see what I'm saying? Can you you got to get all your drive. Now, I kind of swell this right here. If you look at this right here. I had him swell this right here, and we're gonna take the water and go this way. If you see it, it should go down like this right here, right over here. This is gonna go down like this right here, and the water's gonna go that way. Um, the rest of this water right here, I'm going down, I ain't showing you guys. But the rest of this water right here, you see this right here? All this right here is draining down with here. See what I'm saying? Now, we just had our final grade. Can you tell the difference in the final grade and what we had before? And that final grade, um, that gives us about three steps on the front. So one, two, three, you're up at the top. That's where we're gonna be at. So the only thing we're waiting on right now for the most part to get our drives and walks in is an approval from the subdivision. So the subdivision gotta get, give us an approval um, because we're kind of changing some things around. We wanna have two driveways, you wanna have one uh, where you can pull in right here. This is actually almost, do you know the lots length? From from there to there, do you know that length? What do they say? If it's 150 feet, they'll let you have two? Mm. Whatever it is, um, I think we may be within the limitations. So what we got to do is we got to ask them, um, can we get, get away with two of them? So we turned that request in. Yeah, one they got two around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah they, um, there's, there's a couple of them in the neighborhood. Now, here's the thing. When one person does it, and they don't meet the code. They don't meet the the um, the requirements of the uh, covenants, the restrictive covenants. Then they set precedents. Does that make sense? So at that point, if they don't let you do it, you have a you have a legitimate argument. You don't know what the um, now. Here's another thing. Sometimes if you don't like, say for instance, they may have had a hardship. You can always ask them to make a change based on the hardship. Hardship would be like somebody was um, handicapped and they got that documentation. You see, I'm just, you know, they have the documentation and they show it to the subdivision and says that, hey, we got to have two driveways, although we don't meet the requirements that the, you know, that the subdivision said. And so that's their particular case. Does that make sense? I'm just using that as an example. I'm not saying that that is the situation, but that can happen. So, which is why I say, you know, yeah, we can look at them and, let them set precedents, right? But you don't know what the situation was. So I can't just automatically say, well, you did it, I can do it too. So we don't know what's going on. So now you may have something that's very similar and whatever hardship they had, and it has to be documented too. So that's another thing. Once they document it, we know. These are things that goes on in the subject. All right, now let me tell you what else happened here. So you guys come out here. So since the last time you was here, Rucker, they ran all the underground okay so they ran they ran the um right here you see the red i think that's the power see that's the that's that's the power that's the underground power line going all the way through here so they had to mark that let us know where it's at so that when we put our gas the gas came over here somewhere so they ran the gas all the way you kind of see where they ran the gas all the way up there and ran up to the box so you got the gas let me say uh, a couple of things that was ran so we had the the sewer the sewer was ran, the water. 
So the sewer comes out the back side of the house on the lowest part of the house back there. It goes down, the sewer comes around and go right here. And then it goes up the road and it goes all the way up. We got to pump our sewer all the way up to the top of that hill right there. But once it gets to the top of that hill, gravity is going to take over and it's going to just drop down. So that's all the waste in this, in this house. And then we also, we can, we can look at it, but we also got a little, a little thing that's sitting back there. Um, it's like an alarm. So that thing is going to turn on and let the homeowner know that it's not pumping. It's, some, it's malfunctioning. So that means you can't use the bath. You can't, you can't put no sewer in there. So you got to get that thing fixed. Uh, you know, and I, I imagine those things have to be, uh, we can go down here and look at it, but I imagine they have to be, um, we, let's, let's just look at it for a second because I hate to try to explain stuff that, that we're not seeing. I like to have visual. So, see, he got one over there on here. You see that little, that little thing sticking up? That's what that is. You might want to make yours a little shorter. I put a tree right in front of it or something, I don't know. But this, see, this right here, you know what that is? What do you think that is right there? Why do you think you got that pipe sticking up like that, bro? It's gotta be cut off. Probably. Yeah, it's gonna be cut off, but why, what, what is it? The sewer? Yeah, sewer. sewer. That's, like. That's where you're gonna clean out. So if you got a problem with sewer, like when it going into the house, right. you can clean it out right there. You can do it at that thing there. Well, no, no, you ain't gonna, we ain't going to fool with this right here. That's cleaning out to the house. That's what now, this thing right here actually goes down here. It goes down here. It, it, it goes right here. But if you need to, if, if you get a clog somewhere up in here, the, the you, can, you can take the snake, snake what they call the snake, and yeah. you can jam it down up in there, and you can push it up in there and clean it out. And it goes. Yeah, uh, and sometimes you might have you might have you might have a clog right. Well, if you got a clog right here, you're gonna have to pull this up. You're gonna open that up and get in there and fix it. And then this right here, buzzer, this thing right here, is gonna trip. That's it's the gonna, same thing that's over there. They got that, and you need to put a plant or something. Around. They probably gonna make you put a plant or something around. What is this right here? I don't know what that is. So we may need to get it a little bit lower, but you know that's that's gonna be an alarm, let you know that you know stuff ain't working out right. So this, you got pipes. The sewer goes right down here. Are they they going to mount it on something else or it's going to look just like it's going to be just like well, you, uh, It's going to be like theirs over there. Mm -hmm. you, can, you can probably put a, I'd put a, maybe a, a bush or something or a shrubbery or something around it so you won't see it. Um, so that's going to go up here and, it's, and it pumps it all the way up there and it runs it all the way up there and that's, that's what you got. Oh, so you can, you can silence it. I don't, I don't, I don't know. None. This, this, this is the first time I've ever seen one of these things right here, man, to be honest with you. I've never, I, I know that, yeah, it's like you can turn that thing silent, so uh, we ain't got no power on it, I don't think. So, um, but this right here is a, this is a new one for me, buddy. Um, somebody gonna have to give me some instructions on this so I could uh, figure it out. Um, so it goes up. It goes up and it pumps all the way up that hill right there. And like I said, right here, we got our power that goes in. We also got our gas that goes in. And guys, that, that gas, all that stuff is gonna come on. I'll wait to, uh, that's Steve, that's fish. Yeah. He got them on. He, he got them Omega colors on. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh. He met around, hey, that, it might have scared him when he saw that big alpha tag right there in front of that car right there, huh? You get a little nervous, then. Hey, that's the owner right here, man. Hey, how you doing? Hey, he oh, yeah, all right. You got to join us. Oh, you know, you play that. Come on, Okay. Yeah. You know, you know, yeah. Yeah, in, we in with the, the, uh, the first wave. Yeah, we, we saw the light. Hey, man, do you know Owen and you know Owen? And, and Owen. Yeah, Owen. Yeah. I know that. Carlos Muhammad? Yeah, yeah, I know Muhammad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, that joker, he, what, he a bodybuilder now? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that joker, that's... Good Lord of mine. No, I played tennis in Okay. Yeah, I'm a blood dealer. Okay. Okay. I was All right, so what's going to happen here? What's, what, what's going to happen here, guys? Over here. Over here. Over here. I'm a... 
I'm going to take the rest of these bricks right here. And I'm going to use them for the steps. Yeah, those right there. Now, this right here, we're going to put concrete right here. We're gonna, that's, the, you know, the, the step when you walk in here. Mm. We have some columns right here. And then um, you have your drive and turn around. It'll be right over here, uh, about 25, 27 feet, right? And then uh, remember that we're going we're gonna to run that water down. So, guys, y'all got all, all, anytime you're building, the one thing that you're always paying attention to is water. Mm -hmm. Which way is it moving? And the uh, you know, water always moves down. And so... You want to like from right here, right over here to over here, this grade needs to be higher than that grade over there. Okay. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. And so that means that when you put the drives on here, that water's going to be moving this way, and then it's going to go that way. You don't want it going back to the house. Gotcha. You see? And then, uh, so we got a lot of this. This is all trim stuff, man. These are all those steps, you know, those stairs, those stair parts. Remember those temporary stair parts? Mm -hmm. We're going to go see that in just a minute. So they put all this right here. Heck, I wish you had put it somewhere I could burn it. Um, but we, we, uh, you know, something I, I could probably take that to class or something, mm -hmm. and you know, use it for some of the students. But a lot of them got nails in it, man, so they had to pull all that out. But guys, over here is all our utilities. Now, this is what I typically like to do. I typically like to have all the utilities on one wall, everything. So they done pull the underground. See. You can't you can't pull drives until all this stuff is pulled. So when you're scheduling, make sure all this stuff is done before you start talking about drives. You, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Now you don't have this. This right here is uh, this is cable right here. You don't have to worry about that because they can they can just run their little cable. You know what I'm saying? They can run their little cable around and get to you. And that green is uh, the ground. That that's the ground wire. Okay. So you got one on both sides, okay. and they're gonna they're gonna run that. That ground wire is actually attached to the connection. There's a connection down here, some right up under here. Mm -hmm. And there's a connection to where it goes all the way to the footing. I don't know if y'all saw the beginning of this right here, man, but we, we had it on there. But now this right here, we're in the underground. Now this right here is like a 400 amp service. All right. It's a little bit bigger than a regular amp. I had another house here. Um, this right here is your, um, your, your units. And another thing, is when you're installing your units, guys, you want to get them up far away from the, how to make sure they're away from the master bedroom. Why is that? No. Yeah, you don't hit them. You don't hit them, boom. You don't hit them, turn it on and stuff. So the master bedroom is on the other side. So, yeah, that, that takes care of that. Uh, this right here is your gas. So my gas is going to go right here. So the guys, once we get everything going, we're going to set a meter. And our gas meter is going to be right here. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. So everything's coming out, and they'll connect all that up. Now I'm trying to figure out. Oh yeah, this right here is another. This is a plug that we got. It's gonna sit right here. That's that's the plug. What is that plug gonna be for? You think? For that, uh, mm -hmm. Cat, uh, that, that, that little new unit that they make to sit outside. That's there. right. Yeah. The, the, the cutoff for the unit. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's the cutoff for your unit. So you got your your units are gonna be sitting right here, okay. yeah. right? So you got a unit here and unit here. And this right here, these are the cutoff for the units. So you got to be able to you, you got to be able to cut these units off and got to have a, access to them where you can, you can shut them off. That's for safety, all right? Because you don't want somebody here working on it and that thing still connected and pop them, all right? Questions? Y'all hit me with the question. Well, right? huh? right well, that, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a smaller version, about that big. But now you're gonna have two of them gonna be sit right here too. Now okay. you're gonna have a box here and a box over here. Does that make sense? That's a lot of power coming through this house. All right. Anybody else? Y'all got anything else? Anybody? All right. Let's kind of go up in here. So now. You talking about generator? No, I, I, I wasn't, I wasn't, uh, I wasn't privy of a generator. <laughs> All right, guys. Um, so here's you got your. You know, this is hey guys. This is the, I don't know if y'all seen. We got we got the molding and and you know all that stuff is up now. So it's almost at a point to where it's, it's time to paint now. So once we get it painted, you know we can start. You know we can actually start coming on in and starting the call. Um, and so remember that this right here is five eighths sheetrock. 
Why would you use a 5A sheetrock? Fire. Huh? Fire. Fire. And what does it do? Perfect. 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 It's not preventing it. What is it doing? It's not preventing it. It's slowing it down. Yeah. Why is it slowing yeah. it down? So you get out the house. So you get out the house. Do you know how many slow, minutes? Slow burn. Slow burn. Slow it down, yeah. How many minutes you think? 45 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> I, I just get out the fire in a minute, guys. Um, this right here is, yeah, this right here is 5 eight. Also, check this door out. So the door is gonna have the same kind of rating on it, guys. So you're gonna you're gonna come here and you're gonna have a fire rating on this door as well. This is something that the inspectors are gonna check. All right. So they're gonna make sure that this door creates a seal. And you can see this door feels a little bit heavier. Yeah. So what's gonna happen is if this thing start burning down, this door right here is fire rated just like that sheetrock. Okay. Yeah, you come through here. So we got all the interior doors in, got the casing in, all that stuff is in. I didn't see them. Huh? Which one? You change what? This one would be a French door. Oh, okay. Yeah, and the one with that. Oh, talking about with a glass on Yeah, glass, yeah. Oh, okay. Does Zeke, Zeke said he can change it out? Yeah, he said he can change it out. Okay. Yeah, this, these right here, are, these are the stair parts. There's, there's a reason he got this stuff right here closed up in here. I really wish I had something that I can tell you how expensive that stair stuff is, guys. So he kind of got that locked up in there so people just won't come through here looking at it. But um, this right here is, these are, these are your trays, guys. Okay. These are the trays for the downstairs. So again, this is almost like finish. You know, we're not finishing downstairs, but this right here is a good product. I put this on mine. So if you come through and finish, you just paint it and it looks just like the regular stairs. Um, then you got your, um, that's gonna go on the stair casing over there on the other side. Um, and then you got your, I think these are your handrails. I mean, your, your, uh, your posts. And then you also have your rosettes and stuff that goes to the wall. So. Those guys are gonna start working on oh, that as well. Those guys that do, does the posters and stuff. Yeah, they're gonna do it all. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, then they're gonna come through and you know your, your little railings and stuff too. Yeah, yeah. Your, your guardrails or your, they call the um what they call the balusters. They're gonna put all those up as well. All right. And uh, they got a big job. Oh, it don't take them long, man. Them boys been them boys been doing it. I I've been using that guy for like fifteen years. Wow. Uh, so that's the little closet right there. So you see all these little holes like right here, all that's gonna get caulked up. It's gonna all be smooth when they get it done. Mm -hmm. Now, we already ordered the um, we already ordered the cabinets. So the, the cabinets have already been ordered. So we'll get those um we you know we'll get those in hopefully in, in the next week or two. Cause you know, guys, you gotta get the cabinets in before you get the before you get your um countertops in. You gotta get the countertops in before the plumbers can come back. We gotta get all the tile in, so we gotta go pick out all the tile. Um, so all that stuff needs to be in. My tile guys on home. Guys, this is the first time, you guys are not gonna believe this, this is the first time I've had, in, in like two years, I've had subcontractors to pick up the phone and call me and say, hey, you got any work for us? Wow. That hadn't happened. Most Why of the time, that? huh? Why is that? Construction is slowing down. This is where you kind of want to be like this right here. Okay. Um, because now I can have a little bit more control. Right, right, it yeah. took away, they took away all the control from me right. because I couldn't get these guys yeah. because they had more work than what they can handle. Right. Now they need yeah. us now. So now it's going in cycles, guys. Right. So this, this is happening, guys. Yeah, um, <laughs> so this is working out. You know, it's, it's going to work out. And not only that, now, now here, here's another catch now. Another catch is that we can control subcontractor costs when it's like that. Mm -hmm. But typically the subcontractor's cost is not the one that's going up. It's the suppliers. The suppliers, when they go up, they never come back down. Well, yeah, why did that, that paint the brick well though? Huh? It's still big though. The demand mm -hmm. on the brick, painting that white brick, making that white Well, that's brick. extra labor. So if you if, if you number one, you gotta get the paint, and then number two, you gotta get the labor to do it. So that's just an additional cost that you didn't have to pay for, period. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So, if you could get a brick that's regular, and that's cool, but you can also paint the brick, so now you gotta pay people to come back out here and paint brick that's already been laid. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So that's additional labor. That's about twenty, thirty thousand dollars worth of labor to get them to come over here and just paint brick. Um, and then the extra, and, and here's the thing, the extra of your paint is way more expensive too. 
And the type of paint that you need, because the type of paint that you need to paint for it, it is a special kind of paint that, that has pores in it that allow moisture to wick through the brick and, and keep it the same way. So this right here, so we're kind of we're kind of coming through here, guys. Um, this right here, you notice that we got our our our, our backer board, our, our, our cement board for the tile. Notice what else you don't see in here. What else, what else you don't see that you see? Is it in here? We ain't got it in here. All right. Notice what we see in here that we don't see in here. Mold. We don't see baseboard, right? Baseboard, yeah. Why do you think we don't see baseboard? What kind of baseboard do you think we're going to put in here versus the baseboard? What's up, man? See, this right here is not... Guys, this right here is what you call, how are you doing, man? This right here, this baseboard right here is what you call MDF. MDF is what they call medium density uh, fiber board, all right? But what happens is if a lot of water hit it, if a lot of water hit that MDF, it's going to start, it's going to start coming undone. It's, 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 it's not as expensive, mm -hmm. but it's going to start coming undone. This right here is MDF. You get a better cost on it, it's more cost effective, but if a lot of water hit it, it's not gonna do real good on water. So you get your high traffic water areas, like right here, and this is what you wanna put pine. You wanna put pine baseboards, so we got some of that in there, and we're gonna put that in the water area. So everywhere you see water, like maybe in the kitchen or maybe in the bathroom and stuff like that, we put that pine, but when you paint it, it's all gonna look the same. Does that make sense? It's gonna look like this. This is what it, this is what it's gonna look like right here. Yeah, it's gonna be that pine, um, and you can smell it. I, I think we got some of them out here. Question. So, waterproof. You don't have to have it in a certain section. Correct. Where the water's gonna be? Okay. Like water's gonna be right here. So this is purple board. Okay. Mm -hmm. Right over there. You see where the washing machine gonna be? Water. And that's because a lot of times water somehow can get back in there and it's gonna go down and you don't want, this right here is mold resistant, right? So what that means is, now the, now the best way to do it, this right here, this is resistant to mold, but they also have another product called paper sheetrock. So this right here sheetrock got paper on it. That's paper on the outside. And when it has paper on it, so paper is organic, right? Mm -hmm. Then you have sunlight coming in, right? And then you get moisture. Those three components is what creates mold. Mold thrives in that area. So what you want to do is you want to remove one of those components. And the component that you remove would be the paper, the organic part. So you have what they call paperless sheetrock, which is like fiberglass. But it's orange and it smells. It smells kind of funny. It outgas bad. So I, I, I typically don't use that. This is probably the better product now. This is probably the most common product now. Does that make sense? All right. And this right here looks like a, this right here is a, uh, this looks like a casement window right here. So they got a little thing that I got at the house that, that I turn this right here, that, that you get that uh, when we're done. And then it locks like that there. So you can lock it. These are the best kind of windows you can get guys. Casement window is probably going to be the most seal tight window. Um, if you guys ever um, build a house, the way, if you could afford it, they're more expensive. If you can afford it, the best way to do it would be do all casement windows. As a matter of fact, in the green movement, they, they encourage you to go ahead and get all casement windows. Okay? You mean like on the front of the house too? Yeah. If you can figure out a way to put anything that you open, instead of doing a double home, mm -hmm. and, and the double home is real hard to see. And you, you see like right between, you see those are double home right there. You kind of you kind of see these right here. This right here is a double home window. So what happens is you have to seal. The seal right here is hard to get. When this right here closed, I mean, yeah, you seal it. It's good, and it'll do more, more better than the average window, but nothing can seal better than those casement windows. They just don't, you know, you just can't uh, get that thing to seal like that. Hit me. Somebody hit me. All right, so this is, these are the steps, guys. You know, we got our posts and stuff like that. Now, like I said, there will be some posts to come down here. But you're gonna have rosettes on here. I don't know why I put that there. We have rosettes right here to take your guard rail so you guys have something to grab next time you come up here. All right. 
So this is kind of how this is kind of how we, we kind of walk through it. Guys, when, when they get to painting this stuff, it's gonna look totally different. It ain't gonna look nothing like this. Um we'll go up there in just a second. We we'll just kind of go around. Um questions. Hit me. Somebody hit me. Y'all see the chain? Does it look the same? Of the Start, start, oh, this is the pine I was talking about, guys. This is what the pine looks like. Not the other one, so it looks more like that. Yeah, it's starting to look like, you know, there's somewhere you can live, you know. Um, we got some columns to stick in here, so. It's kind of, like I said, especially when you paint it. Reggie, you got anything, man? Not yet, I'm just uh, getting Trying to take notes. it all in. Taking my notes. <laughs> yeah, the next thing you want to do is, you know, I, I don't like to come in. I don't like to come in. And, and typically, I can't stand for a house to look like this right here. I don't like all the, you know, the, 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 the trimmings and the trash and stuff like that. But, like, between my subcontractors, guys, when you, when you have these guys come out, you don't want to come in here and clean everything up while they're out here working. Why do you think we don't? I don't, I'm not, I don't really want to do that. Some of these guys, here's the thing. Some of these guys put things in certain places. They remember where it's at. They, they, like they put that stuff in there. If I come in here and clean this place up, I might lose something. You know, they know where things are. And then I don't want them to think that they can't work, you know. Um, they, you want them to feel a little bit more comfortable when they come in and work it. Okay. You said you know where they put their own stuff at? Yeah, they know where they put their stuff at too, man. Because sometimes you'll misplace some stuff for these guys, man, and, and you'll mess yourself up. So the one, the first thing you're gonna do is these guys are gonna come in here. They're gonna set all of these doors. Every last one of the interior doors. You guys, this is the first time I had all the doors to show up, and I don't have any missing doors. Um, huh? Yeah, they really all they need, all they need is some doorknobs. That's another access to another room up there. That's that room up there, that, 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 that hidden room. Yeah. Did somebody else come in? Yep, I thought there was somebody else. All right. So you come here. What's this right here, man? Somebody got a... This is supposed to be a scraper. So somebody must have left this scraper here. They have lost that thing. All right, so... There we go again, guys. Casement one was right there. What is this? Oh, okay, that's what the lock is. And uh, so all this right here, this is ready to go. This is ready for tile. Now, mind you, on that floor, we already got a water. We got already got a water membrane there that, that that's um that's already up under that where he already laid. Oh no, that's it. That's the membrane. What he's gonna do is he's gonna take some of that thin set. You feel that? He's gonna take some of that thin set and he's gonna float it. You gotta have a base on top. So you're gonna come through here. That right there, you can pour water in there, the whole water like a tub. That's that plastic, is that liner. Oh, that liner stood down there? I yeah. know what you're talking about. Oh, it's, it's some yeah. fucking that. No, that's the liner right there. Oh. And so what he'll do is, see, we already got one set of thin that set. plastic thing. Yeah, well, okay, like right now, that's a liner. But up under the liner, you have thin set that's sloping toward that drain. And then you got the liner on top of that. But the reason that you have that, see, the reason that you want to have that liner on there, you don't want that liner to be at the bottom and then put the thin set on there to put the tile on there. It's because what'll happen is the water, um, stagnant water will go down to the bottom and sit there and you can smell it over time. So the, 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 the city change their code to make it to the first thing you got to do is slope it and the inspectors come out there and come out here and check the slope they check the slope and they check the line and then once you have that now nah, they're not going to check that no more you can go ahead and put your your thin set on top of it on it again and slope it again and then you put your tile on top of that you can just paint right over that right yeah you can paint over that stuff but you're going you know you can tile it or you can paint it well, um, now, I'm, I'm talking about above it. Uh, we, yeah, you, you can paint that. Okay. The water's not going to, see that, once again, that's that. That's why you use the purple stuff, because the water's not going to mess with that. And I think there's a fan in here, too. So anytime you take a shower, you know, you want to turn the fan on to absorb that, that moisture. Mm -hmm. The purpose of those fans is to get moisture out of here, move that moisture. 
You want to, you know, that steam from the shower, you want to push it, you want to get it on out of here. Okay. And I think they had, when they had their material, they had the machines in here. They had a lock on this door. Yeah. This is the thing you say you cut a hole right there. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, you got, this is a big closet right here too. So these are the closets. I usually keep my permit right over here. But I'm going to, I guess I'm going to find somewhere else to put my permit. No, I got it in my car. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I keep it in my car because I don't want my permit to grow. Man, this is like my second time getting a permit because somebody lost one of them. So I had to go to Hoover and get another one. They charge you $25 for that thing. Okay. Yeah. I know what I Um, so... Question, hit me. Mm -hmm. Did we go, we went to that other house that we in the framing stage, right? Yeah. Okay, okay. So we got, we got them in a good stage. You got this one a little bit ahead of that one. Mm -hmm. And so they, they kind of rolled in, in. So you can kind of see the next time, next week, we go out to the other one. So y'all see all the roughs. So all the roughs already uh, over there and there. Let me let y'all see what these stairs look like when you when you remove all this stuff. This is what your stairs look like, guys. Y'all make y'all own the uh, back right there. Huh? The steps. Y'all make y'all making yourself put it back. Yeah, yeah, no, you, you cut them. Okay. They gotta cut them. Um and we had to actually recut every last one of them, guys. Had to recut every last one of these steels going all the way up. The framers actually cut them wrong. Um, you know, you got to have, you remember that the riser that needs to be seven and a quarter, it needs to be 11, 10, 10 and a half, or 11 inches. Mm -hmm. and, you know, I, I usually like for them to be about 11 inches with the, with the tongue part. But you got to make sure that these steps, this thing got to be cut right, man. If you get it wrong, you jack up all the stairs. You get the bottom one wrong, you mess up the top one. I mean, you see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And so those stair parts that you see inside of that thing, you got, that's what's gonna go all the way right here. It kind of, you're gonna see it kind of curves too. All right? Mm. They, it, they messed it up. Yeah, and it's right here curved. No, they, they shouldn't mess that one up. They, no, they, I'm saying it. Huh? You gotta know what you're doing. Now. Oh yeah, yeah, man, these, these, these are the guys, the trim carpenters are your detail guys. Your trim carpenters and your cabinet installers, they're very detailed. They, and most framers, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I think most framers, most framers that we hire today, and I hate to talk about them real bad, they just chop up lumber and put it together. But they don't really, really understand framing the way I think framing should be understood. Like I said, and I keep saying this on every class I have, framers should have the same certification and license as, as, as like having a plumber, electrician, um, and what's the other one? Uh, electrician and a mechanical guy. Then it should be a framer. They should have a license because if you stack this stuff wrong, up wrong, man, this stuff will fall down on you. You know, and it'll hurt somebody. Kill, you can kill somebody. You can cause death. And so these framers need to understand load calculation. They need to understand span and all the stuff that we've been talking about. They need to know how to go to the code book and figure this stuff out. And I think the Home Builders Licensing Board should switch this thing around and make these framers to come out here and do this stuff. Like, remember I was talking about the framer guy that was doing this right here? Like, no, nah, man, you gotta do this right. He still got it wrong, man. I'm gonna look at that right. So I had to call my guy here, but he still got one part of it um, not correct. So we had to get that fixed when the guy get up there and correct it. But yeah, these guys, man, they just kinda, we're gonna go upstairs, right? They just kinda come in and, you know, but here's the thing, I don't blame them. The problem is, is that they have learned a way to frame uh, they have learned a certain way, and it's probably been passed along with these guys for like several years. So that's what they know, man. I'm not saying they're wrong, but guys, you got to always do constant, um, you know, research on your trade. You can't just stop learning. You got to always learn how products go in. You know, there's a certain guy like the sheetrock. There's a nail pattern on these sheetrock, guys. There, there's a look. You see these little things right here? 
It's showing you where to stick, put the screws at. Let me see, bro. They tell me, boy, you need one here. That's probably like every 12 inches, you need another nail there, another screw there. You see? There's a, and, and, and guys in the code book, it tells you the fasteners. It tells you how far they should be apart. Now, now to make these, to make that corner right there, you're gonna use these right here. You got flexibility. Correct. Flex. Let's go, let's go up here, guys. Let's This is where I'm, I'm, I'm gonna keep walking up and down these right here. To try to, I need to try to find squeaks. So one overcut on your step and make a squeak. No, no, one overcut and throw your whole steps off. Just a half an inch. So at the top, you get half an inch too short, you mess up your whole step. And those stringers, those are two by 12, like this right here. You know, that's about $30 right there. So you imagine you're buying a whole bunch of them, you don't want to mess them up. Huh? I don't know, it's probably like six rooms or something like that. And this is like a, this is like a bone. This is where they cut the steps out of Correct. Remember the, the strength of you, when you cut these steps, like if I cut it, you, you know, I'm cutting down and I'm going like this right here, going like that. The strength of the steps is right here. You see, you see, if this right here was a step like this right here, the strength of the steps is right here, guys. You see what I'm saying? So that's why you don't want to get those guys to come here. What they, what they usually do is they use a circular saw and they cut because the, it's circular, right? Mm -hmm. So they overcut so that when they cut this way, it'll pop off. Mm -hmm. But they'll overcut a little bit, right? They'll overcut a little bit right here, right? Well, now you've destroyed the strength of the step. So really what you do is when you cut it like, when you, you just cut so far, don't go, don't overcut. Cut so far, don't overcut, and you get your hands saw and cut the rest of it. That's the way they should do it. But a lot of them guys, like I said, man, these guys are these guys are coming out here with their framers, man. They just they speed. I gotta get it done so I can go to the next job so I can get paid. I get it. But you gotta do it right. You see what I'm saying? Um, and so that's where, like I said, I think we should have, we they, they should have framers. To have that license, you, have, you should, should be a licensed framer, and, and the, the 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 municipalities need to have it to where the state needs to have it to where you have to be a licensed. Then we should have apprentices, and then we should have journeymen framers. You see, um, because they mess up a lot of that stuff, man. Headers, man. There's a lot of, a lot of other stuff they mess up. They mess up headers. I mean, I ain't telling you know, and I, I had to just beat up these framers, man. But I mean, I had, you know, this guy right here been framing for me for like 17 years, and I still have problems with every house I built with him. Hmm. There's been issues. So I think. who eats that cost? Huh? Who eats the cost? Okay, come in and cut this one, or like you said. I eat the cost. <clears throat> That's why as a builder, man, you got to know it. You got to know it. You got to catch it early, the, too? Well, you got to, you got to stay on these guys, man. You got to. One thing, you really got to come check on your sites. You got to schedule time. You, you need to have a superintendent. See, the, the problem is, I have to have it. Now, I try to train my son to do this right here, but it, it's just, you know, it's, he's a little young, too young for it right now. He don't have that, that edge right now. He, it's going to come, but it's going to take a minute. Um, but you got to be out here all the time. Most, like, if you go to Signature Homes, they have guys with builder's licenses and superintendents. These are just guys who don't really want to go. Um, they don't have any motivation to start their own building company. They just kind of, you know, want to work for somebody. But they got builder's license and they took the test and they know what they're doing. So those are the guys that's out here all the time. They only, they only go out here, their only job, they don't worry about the financial side of it. The only job is to make sure that the subs are doing what they're supposed to do. They don't worry about, those guys don't worry, they like project managers. They don't worry about Framing, you see, um, they, 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 they check the framers, but they don't worry about ordering material. They don't do any of that stuff. The only thing they worry about is on site. Okay, you do this right here, right? You do this right here, right? And that's what they do all day long. And then you hire somebody else. That's what the white guy with the red truck was doing. Yeah, that's all he do. He's going he's gonna to come out here. He's not the builder. Now, the builder's got to buy a big black truck. Mm -hmm. 
And the other guy, he just coming out here, okay, did you do this right here right? Did you, he gonna count the inventory, okay? Did, they, did everything drop off just right? You ain't charging me too much. These guys, this is what they're doing. You gotta have that, guys. When you guys get your building's license, build, I would, if it were me, I, 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 I do me a couple projects on my own. I might build me a house on what you doing, like you had, how you get that project, I get the feel of it. And then, before I start dealing with people, that's the way I would do it. And then, and then once you kind of get, get, get it all kind of fine-tuned, then you need to go hire somebody. You need to go hire some people to, to check this stuff for you. Because it's not it's going to be too much for you to be out here doing it yourself. It's way too much. And then you're going to have a certain level of trust to make sure these guys get it right. Um, so, it's a lot of work. You, got one. you make it look easy. Like, I mean, I know you've been doing it for a minute because you, beyond the didactics of just seeing how things go together, like you said, it's over, what, 200,000 parts? Yeah, oh yeah, man. Have, and you got to put together by men, you know, these guys, man, and all different type of mindsets is coming in here, too. So you got this right here. This is like a Jack and Jill right here. I think this one. I made sure when I put that woman in, that's an inequitable woman. Mm -hmm. So they can be open. Yeah. Right, right, right. Hollywood. Right. Right. You got a toilet right there. Yeah, one yeah, yeah, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. boy. Yeah. <laughs> I have some blinds on me, though. Yeah. But they'll be open. I got one. Well, that's funny. Ain't, ain't no joke. <laughs> well, you're trying to get out of there. Yeah, jump out the window. <laughs> <laughs> he probably about like me when I was little, man. I'm going to try. Now, I got some more sheetrock. Some, this right here got to be corrected, guys. I got this right here board right here is jacked up, so I got to come through and cut that loose. And I got to raise this right here up. And we got one more of these... Uh, this is the only door that's missing, so we're going to raise this up and um, get that to work. But I got to get that fixed so the guys can put the sheetrock in here. So I got some more people coming in. Huh? Mm-hmm. That board right there. Oh, that's why they didn't sheetrock. Correct. Okay. Yeah. Uh, actually, actually, what needs to happen is this right here needs to come out a little bit further. See? They need to come out with this right here a little bit further. All the way up. Yeah, and then they need to wrap it around here. Stop, say it. They got tired? Yeah, no. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Man, we could have saved some money on all these casement windows, though. That's what I'm losing. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, those window guys, you know, they put all that case. And that's another thing, guys. The suppliers. They're trying to oversell you. Yeah, they're going to oversell you, man. See, we could have saved some money right now. Yeah, like these casement windows right here. Mm -hmm. You didn't really know casement windows, yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't. You know, I mean, unless you just wanted to. No. Yeah. yeah, but, yeah. But, but that's what they do, guys. Yeah. You gotta, man. You got to. Like every, no one works for you. Mm -hmm. That's the problem. They don't work for you. They don't work for your company. They don't work for your goal. They don't have your your your. They don't have your goal. In their heart. Does that make sense? So what they're gonna your do pleasure. is your best interest. Your best interest at heart. They, they don't have that. So what they're gonna do is they're gonna look out for themselves. They're gonna try to they're gonna sell you additional ones that you really don't need. Expensive ones. And, and they're gonna they gonna keep going. Get that commission up. Yeah. And you could have said, hey man, I mean, man, you gotta check everybody. I had a guy the, the house over in Irondale. And I know he probably, he, he may mess around and look at this right here, guys. But over there, the, the guy, um, let me tell you what he's my lumber guy, right? So I said, hey, man, I need you to send a sign stuff to me. So I said, before you send it, send me the quote. And so he sends me the quote. And, and you know, I got that software that I can check everybody. I can check how much needs to go work. Mm -hmm. So when I was checking it, I was looking at it, and I was comparing what I had and he, what he had. And I'm mm -hmm. looking at it. So he ordered 345 boards. I calculated 372 boards, like the siding board. And which was, guys, it was probably about another $1,200 difference. 
-hmm. That's what it was. Mm -hmm. And so I called the guy and said, hey, man, you need to check this number right here again. Something ain't quite right. And he said, um, so he said, well, we can just go ahead and go with your number. This is my, I said, no, no, you need to check it. You check it. Because I want, I need to know whether or not my software is working. I need, I need to figure this out. So he goes back and check it. And he said, he came back, he's like, I don't know where I got that number from. And, but here's what he was going to do. He was going to dump that material on the site. He was going to be $1,200 over on product, right? And it was going to take him a long time to come pick it back up. By the time he picked it back up, my other subs who came on site and ravished through it and messed it up, right? right. So now we can't send it back. Yeah. And so he just made another $1,200 off of me. This is how it works. That's why you got, and guys, I can sit here. Like, no, 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 look, 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 no, 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 no. I don't want to say that. I'm not saying that he was doing it on purpose. His number was lower, lower than your number. No, 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 his number was higher. Okay. It was 345 boys. I was 372 boys. That's high. Three, 345. Yeah. His was 345. He was going to send me 345 boys. But you needed 372. No, I'm, I'm sorry. I needed 272. Okay. 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 Yeah, you're right. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. I needed 272. I heard that 272. Yeah. 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 yeah, I got 272. So he, he had 345. Yeah. So he was going to send me more boards than what I need. And then, I'll, and guys, I'm going to tell you something else. So, so like I said, he was going to sit on site because these guys are notorious for not picking this stuff up on time. Mm -hmm. I'm going to tell you something else, guys. You've got to keep up with your accounting. If you pay somebody, you better document it, and you better keep a red flag on what you pay and what you paid for. You better have that accounting right. Because what they'll do is, I got guys who would double invoice you. You know what I mean by that? Oh, it, 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 guys, it don't necessarily mean. I'm not, guys. I'm not saying that these guys are doing stuff. I'm not saying they're mischievous, mischievous. But when they double invoice you, they'll send you one invoice, and I pay it, and they'll send the same invoice again. Or they'll they'll, they'll call and tell me they never got the invoice, and they'll send me another invoice. But uh, they never got the payment, and they'll send me another invoice. But they are doing it on purpose. Yeah. <laughs> well, well let, let me say this right here. So what happened is, you can send them double payments, right? Mm -hmm. But if you catch it, you can say, hey, you guys already billed me for that. I already paid for it. I can show you what I already paid for. I just, I just had this happen, guys. I already paid for it. Oh, I'm sorry. I made a mistake. That's all they're going to say. I almost think that they're doing it. Some of those guys are doing it on purpose. Yeah. I, 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 you See, know, because you know, here's the thing. Arrow. It's, it's, it's yeah. a try and error. Yeah. But that's what they're gonna say. Well, we made a mistake. Well, here's the thing. Here, here, here's, what, here's what you gotta think about. Why is it? See, when you really make a sincere error, fifty percent of the time is on your side. Fifty percent of the time it should go against you. Fifty percent of the time it should be for you, right? It's always for them. If it's always for them, it's not an error. Yeah. But that's why that and that's how that, that, piggyback off what you said. No, I don't think it's errors. I think they're doing it on purpose. Yeah. I think that because these houses have over two hundred thousand parts, mm -hmm. there's so many moving things that are going on. They figure you can't catch it. Yeah. And if you don't have yeah. your people engaged and your people out here working for you and focus on what you need to do, mm -hmm. you won't catch it. Mm -hmm. And you're gonna bleed slowly. Yeah. I mean, you will. You bleed. You. I call it dying on the vine. You be. You be. Man, I didn't make nothing over this right here. I'm just, what? Where the money go? And you are gonna start searching for it. You'll find it if you got good. So I got real good accounting, guys. I I see everything. I got it on my software. I got it in my checkbook, and I got an Excel spreadsheet. And every last one of them got to balance up. And and you better write checks out. And this is what this check is for. And you got to better check. Everything got to match up and check. And if it don't. These guys are running away with your money. Like I said, guys, the name of this game is the bank is going to give you a big pile of money. I probably already told you about this. And the bank is going to let you, and, and your job as a builder is to want the different people to stick their hand in that pot. And at the end of the day, what's left over is what you're going to take home. If you let them guys get in here and start grabbing all your money and stuff, you're not gonna have anything to take home, so you gotta watch. Hey man, put that back. That's what you gotta tell me. Oh, you can't get that right there. You got to stay on these guys.
And just because they look like they won't get you, they will. Now he's a, an old dude told me, I told y'all that story, man. An old dude said, he said, he said, man, he said, every last one of these subcontractors, they crawl from under the rock in the morning. They go about their day, they just crawl around, do what they gotta do. And at the end of the day, when the sun go down, they crawl right back under the rock. He said, the very day that you forget that, you're gonna get bit. All right. So y'all remember that. All right, guys, let's keep going through this right. I, I, I do like these right here, little accents right here, man. It's, I like these right here. Yeah, these little accents that we got in the house, oh, man. Good. You know, they, they it looks good. Um, yeah. yeah, you could put a light up in here. Um, I guess these are supposed to be glass doors. Yeah. So what's then you tell Zeke that. That's the office right there. Yeah. This is what now? Office. Okay. It's going to be too fresh. Okay. Yeah. So what are you going to do in here? You're just going to no, do she's gonna put a computer. Computer there. Office. Uh, she, do, she got a, a, what you call it? Notable public. Oh, for real? Mm-hmm. License. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, this is cool. She going to be wanting to walk up these steps? You know, she got the EMS. That's what that for. Later on. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> yeah. Let me see what that looks like. Yeah, let me see. Yeah. That's your elevator there. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's going to work. That's going to work out pretty good, though, man. I, I tell you, man. The only thing I talk about, I'm not going to put in. That's it? Oh, man. <laughs> Hey, I know. Uh, speaking of French, what was that other door you said the guy was? Uh, yeah, the French. There's a difference between French door and double door. Du- double yeah. door. This is a double door. French door has glass. Okay. I couldn't think. I was trying to think of. I was yeah. thinking, oh, man, it's light. Lights. Get back with me now. Who's Zeke? Yeah. Oh, oh Zeke. Yeah, you said he comes back. I've been doing Zeke for a minute too, guys. He, oh, yeah, he's hard yeah. catching. Yeah, man, you, man, it, man. If you catch that Joker, man, you. So this is another bedroom here. Yeah. Oh, okay. So this is this one board is the perfect. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, the bird was at the door, but it was me. You said bird was in the way? The bird was. You didn't have that. Did he die? I stuff at him. Did he, he die? To, uh-uh, he just tried to play know. dead. Yeah, I just, I just, just, just opened up the window. Yeah. 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 So I wrote the window and opened the window up for him. Yeah. 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 And I used to open one of my dad. Did he That's why he had to keep windows open. Yeah, in the house. Did he get out? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I. I don't know. That, that, I left. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. yeah, yeah. Yeah. I can't make a date that he was gone. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I don't. I don't, must get out. Yeah. I don't like to see birds die. So no, I want him to get out there so I No, this is not good. This is a third level. Yeah, no, this is second level. Basement. Y'all watch that step right there. Basement, first level, and then second level. Basement, just basement. Okay. And then the main level is that level, and then this is the second level. Okay. I mean, you're really up three floors. Because if you, if you look down here, if you look down here, you actually, this is three floors. So that's the basement down there. <laughs> not not on these right here. This is the upstairs. You know, you you don't really like I said. Some of the upstairs, you kind of you don't want to just go expensive on the upstairs because you got to save money somewhere. The master bedroom, the bathroom, the master bath, and the master in the kitchen and the master bedroom. That's where you're gonna pump all your money into. Like crown molding and all the crystal. Yeah, crown molding in the hall. Yes, crown molding should be up in here, yeah. 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 And they got a dome up here. I see the electrical. They got electrical right there. The one you had to go up. Yeah. 
There's another room right there. There's a little hidden room. Yeah. Uh, right here. It's right here. Yeah, but you gotta go from the downstairs. Okay. No, this is gonna be a spiral staircase. Yeah, this is what we had on the had some beams up here. I don't know if I showed you guys the beams that were kinda out of order. And this right here is uh it won't look like this, guys, when we get it done. This is going to be a um, dome. Dome, what, yeah. But the roof, the ceiling and stuff right there, so what are they going to look out to? Sky oh, no, it's just going to be a dome, just, a, oh. just the accent of a dome. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Yeah. Oh. Question, guys. Anybody? Anybody else? Thermostat. Somebody turned the air on down here. Yeah, the heat Yeah, the heat, the heat that went up there, didn't it? So why is this one right there? That's a dish. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, that's a quick question. What's so that? It's green like that, bro. Right? 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 Because this, this, this right here has a, um, it has a little, a little film on the back, back of it to seal it. Because it, because right up, on the other side of it is uh, unconditioned space. But like on the top, I yeah. know they green with uh, silver yeah. fans. Yeah, right, but right here. Silver fans, I mean, right there. Yeah, I, I don't know what that is. Yeah. But all, it, I don't it, think that's a silver fan. I don't, I don't know, I don't, I don't know. But all the ones that got silver fan got that green that we got have over it. I don't know what this is, hold up. I think this right here, let me look, let me see. I don't know why that, that that'd be something I had to, you know, I, I don't delay what I just said, man. I don't know why them things are green. It might have just been, I don't know. So kind of silly. I don't know. <laughs> That's an electrical question I gotta ask you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, on the, on the um, yeah, kitchen, you gonna have all the outlets. So all the around. Outlets. Yeah, yeah, I mean, like you got a desk right here, so you got, you know, mm -hmm. hey, plug. And then right here, you got your um, appliances and stuff that's gonna go in the kitchen. 